All right, so I just recently made a video making boxes similar to this uh, to try and see if I could uh, make them like within really tight tolerances, um, not using a fabrication table. So I'm going to show you guys a method that you can use to check check for flatness when you're doing stuff like this. Now, like I said, uh, my table is pretty bowed. Um, this thing rocks around a lot if you're um, trying to check it for flatness on this table because the table's not flat. Uh, some people have even worse conditions than I do that they're trying to build stuff in. So I'm going to show you a simple method uh, that you can check check structures like this for flatness. Um, you know, this one's more of a square. Uh, it also works on like bigger rectangular things as well. Um, so yeah, you got your your table frame that you're building. Uh, this one is actually going to be for like a coffee table or something. Um, and to check it to make sure it's flat, you know, like make sure that like one of these corners isn't like super bowed. You get yourself some string. Uh, this is, happens to be like what most masons or whatever use for plumb bobs. Uh, the, the smaller the string, the more accurate you're going to be. Uh, like if you're using a three inch uh, tow rope or like for a boat anchor or something, uh, it's going to be, you can still be pretty off in your flatness and it might show that you're, you're flat with the string method. Uh, because that string allows, you know, a couple inches of tolerance. The smaller the string, the less tolerance you have in your flatness. So what you do is you make an X, right? So I clamped one end of the string on here, drew it tight to this corner, and I clamped it. And this is this can be as loose as it needs to be. Um, it doesn't have to be tight, but it's just coming back over here to this corner. Uh, and then you can take the string and draw it tight and then if the strings try to displace each other uh, you know you're flat. I'll zoom you in here so you can see what's going on. Alright so I got you zoomed in really close. Alright so I'm s the, the corner uh, that's furthest away from me, that piece of steel, I'm going to draw the string tight and uh, you can see it's ever so slightly it pushes that top, the bottom string will push that, that top string up out of the way. So that means I'm probably flat. To double check that Put your your loose string on the other end of the tight string and do that test again. And if that top, that bottom string moves down, I know that's flat. Because that string is trying to occupy the space on both sides. Now another scenario you can have is I'm going to the piece of steel that is on my right hand side but the same corner um, the piece of steel dropped down just ever so slightly maybe like a sixteenth or a thirty second of an inch so when I draw this string tight it wants to really move that that other string there I mean you can see the deflection in the camera even so when you go and loop this on the other end and then draw it tight it's not it's not moving that that other string because the corner I have this placed in now is just ever so slightly lower than everything else um, I'll see if I can zoom the camera over so you can see what I'm doing over here and what I'm talking about. 
All right, the camera actually picked that up. Um, so this piece right here actually sits, you can see the ridge right here. Uh, this piece sits up about a 32nd of an inch higher than this piece. Uh, it's, it's not very apparent when you're looking at it from afar, but when you get up close you can kind of see that out of, out of flatness or whatever is good enough for what I'm going to be using it for, especially since this is the bottom side of my project. But yeah, when, so what I was doing, the first, the first piece I was doing this on was right here. Um, and it moves, it, this, both the strings touch. But when I come over here, if my loose string is on the bottom, when I tighten it up, it doesn't, it doesn't hit that top, that top string. Because this sits a little low. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Um, that's actually a pretty good example if this was perfectly flat. Uh, if I didn't cause, if this piece was perfectly flat, you wouldn't have been able to see what it looks like when it doesn't work. Um, so, yeah, that little imperfection, I guess, actually helped this video. Um, if you learned from something from it, uh, I might make more of these videos here. Um, yeah, that's, hopefully that helps you guys. Um, I guess something I should say too is, uh, you notice how I have all my clamps not really in the center of the weld or in the center of the tube. Uh, that's because I already ground this down. So if my grind marks went a little deep, I didn't want to mess, mess up that test. Uh, so I hit something that I knew was not disturbed. Um, so yeah. Hopefully this helps somebody. I'll see you. Uh, real quick, another way to double check this. Um, or check it more thoroughly. Is to unclamp everything and clamp it in the center here. And check it that way as well. That way you know the corners didn't all bow the same. I guess. So yeah, hopefully this helps. See ya.